Hello, I'm Stephen Mayu, and you're watching TheBestJS.com. In the last video, we took our function constructor that we made earlier, and we changed it into an ES6 class. It's very similar. Uh, we talked about the constructor method. This gets invoked immediately as soon as we use that new keyword. And we shortened up all of our verbose uh, methods right here in the constructor into something that looks much nicer. Okay, now in this video, we're going to talk about static class methods. You see, these methods are instance methods, and they belong to a specific instance of the class, like person1, person2, person3. Every time we use the new keyword, we are creating a new instance. So all of these properties and all of these methods, they belong to that particular instance. But what if we want to create a method that doesn't belong to an instance, but belongs to the entire class? Well, we can do that with static methods. So just to bootstrap everything, I'm going to take everything that we have right here. I'm going to copy and paste it over to this new file because we're going to reuse a lot of code. All right, so it's the same thing. I just copied and pasted it over there. But now we are going to create a new method. And it doesn't belong to the instance. It belongs to the class. And we're going to use the static keyword. Okay, we're going to call this species, the species method. And we're going to return homo sapiens. Okay. So the static keyword tells us that it's not an instance method, but it belongs to the class person. All right, so let's copy this over. We'll go to our browser. All right, we'll refresh everything. Oops, having some issues right here. Sorry about that. All right, we're going to refresh. Let's open up our console again. Okay, good. All right, so now we got our class, and here is the static method. Okay, so let's do this again. Const person one. All right, new person Stephen Mayu. All right, and if we, if we do a person one dot first name, okay, we get Steven. Person one, last name, all right, Mayu. This is working as expected. But let's try person one dot species. Okay, that is a method. Will it work? Nope. Species is not a function. Okay, because we're using the static keyword and it doesn't belong to an instance. Person1 is an instance. In this method, it doesn't belong to any instances. It belongs to the class. So if I said person.species and invoke it, then I get homo sapiens. All right, so let's build upon this. We're going to create one more static method, static. And we'll call this species uh, sentence. Okay. Return. All right. Humans are classified as all right, dollar sign this dot species. Okay. All right, and I'm invoking it. All right, so let's copy and paste this. Go back to the browser, refresh. All right, so let's do cons person one again. All right, and again, we can do the person, the species. There it is. Okay, that's looking good. But if we do person, species, sentence, and invoke it, humans are classified as Homo sapiens. Huh, now we didn't write Homo sapiens in that sentence. We wrote this dot species and invoked it. So what's going on in here? Well, normally when we use the this keyword, like when we used it in our function constructor and when we used it in our basic class, this referred to a specific instance. But, 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 if you use the this keyword, inside of a static method, 
it's not going to point to the instance. It's going to point to the class. So here we have a static method and it's going to return a string. And here is the this keyword and it's inside of a static method. So it's going to find a species method that is a class method of person, which is this. So this method, it returns homo sapiens, and that's why we get the string humans are classified as homo sapiens. All right, so before we conclude uh, this video, I want to talk about one other feature that isn't officially adopted in ES6 yet. So these are static methods, okay? They are functions. You have to invoke them and they return some sort of value. But if you are a React developer, you might come across something called static properties. So these are methods, but properties are just, you know, everything except for a function. They could be strings, numbers, booleans, etc. So for example, static, um, and I don't know, well, let's try to, let's try to, instead of making this a method, we'll just say static species equals homo sapiens. Okay, we're gonna save that. Okay, we're gonna refresh. Okay, if you try to do a static property, okay, just a regular variable and not a function, you're going to get an error. This is because static methods are official. They are officially adopted in ES6, but static properties, this part, is not. Now, uh, the problem is uh, a lot of people in React, they use static properties. So in order to get around this, uh, we use something called Babel. Let me just bring that over here, babeljs.io. We use something called Babel in order to um, use these extra features. And, and if you do a Google search for ES6 stages, in fact, I'll do that for you right now, ES6 stages, okay, you'll come across uh, these different pages right here, the TC39 proposals, so on and so forth. And uh, well, there are all these different stages. You have stage three, stage two, stage one, and stage zero. Now, now the ones that have been officially adopted, uh, uh, these are gonna be uh, higher numbers. Uh, and I think there's also a stage four, uh, I, I think, don't, uh, don't quote me on this, but, but these are the ones that are approved are or are pretty close to being approved. But the, the other features that are stage two and one and, and stage zero, these are being considered for approval, but they're not quite official yet. And you have to use some Babel plugins in order to use these, um, un, um, these unofficial uh, uh, features of ES6. Static properties, they are an unofficial feature and you need a Babel plugin in order to render this correctly. Otherwise, you will get the error as you have seen right there. Now, uh, we're not gonna talk about that in this class um, because it's gonna be a lot of setup and I just wanna show you an overview of classes. But please be aware that there are some features of classes that have not been officially adopted yet. And if you come across them, you are going to need some sort of Babel plugin so that it can work. But the good news for us right now is that we can still use static methods um, and they do a pretty good job of what we need. Alrighty, so uh, let's stop right here in the next video, we are going to talk about using classes, two or more classes together using the extends keyword. So let's take a break and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.